वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल इन दिस विडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट प्रेसर डाय कास्टिंग प्रोसेस एंड बेसिकली इन डिटेल्स विथ अ हॉट चेम्बर डाय कास्टिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट प्रेसर डाय कास्टिंग प्रोसेस सो बेसिकली प्रेसर डाय कास्टिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑन डेट विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ डाय कास्टिंग सो इन विच द मोल्टन मेटल इज injected into a die under a high pressure so the term pressure is going to be used for inserting the molten form of the metal into the die so basically in that case of the die casting process we are using a permanent die casting process so basically that will be made with a metallic materials so the metal being cast must have a low melting points then the die materials so which is basically made with a steels or other alloys so this process is best suitable for castings for a non ferrous materials although a few ferrous materials can be also cast so basically the two types of method of the die castings that will be used to making a components so first one that will be hot chamber die casting process and second cool chamber die casting process so in this video i am only explaining about hot chamber die casting process so just you can see into this figure of a hot chamber die casting process so let us start with the some of the components that will be used into this process so starting with the furnace so basically furnace that will be used to increasing the temperature of the metal or you can say converting our solid metal into the liquid form of the metals or you can say alloys so for that collecting that particular metals into a pot so into the pot just you can see that will be the molten metal so that molten metal that will be as per my requirements and on to that upper part that will be the plunger so plunger that will be connected with the plunger rod and plunger rod that will be connected with a hydraulic cylinders so by the application of the pressure with hydraulic cylinders so pressure is being generating from here and that will be connected with a plunger rod and towards a plunger and another part there will be the nozzle is being used or you can say this nozzle it will be connected with a gooseneck so just you can see this one is our gooseneck so this gooseneck it will be connected with the nozzle and nozzle it will be connected with a die casting so basically into the die one is a permanent or you can say fixed die and another another one that will be a movable so just you can see this one is our fixed die and this is our movable die so basically in the case of the movable die it will be also having a inbuilt of ejector pins or you can say ejector dies and just you can see this whole die that will be made with a metallic materials or you can say sometimes it will be steels or alloying materials so in between these two it will be our mold cavity so as from my requirements of the shape and size i would like to set this shape of the dies so let us start with the process so in this process the dies are made in two halves one half called as a fixed die or you can say stationary die while the other half called as a movable die so these dies are aligned into the positions by means of ejector pins which also helps to eject the solidified casting from the die so just you can see the animated part of the hot chamber die casting process so basically in the case of the hot chamber die casting process our molten form of the metal which will be inserting into the hot conditions into the die so after solidification process that will be removing with the help of ejector pins so in case of the hot chamber die casting process there is the various steps it will be including so just you can see this is our setup for a hot chamber die casting process and you can also see the animated part so a pivoted 
cast iron goose neck is submerged in a reservoir of the molten metal where the metal enters and fills the goose neck by a gravity just you can see by the gravity once you form a molten form of the metal as per my requirements into the pot then with the help of goose necks this molten form of the metals it will be entering into a nozzle and from these nozzles it will be injected into a mold cavity after this the goose neck is raised with the help of link and then neck part is positions in the sprue of the fixed part of the die so basically these goose necks and the nozzles that will be connected with a fixed part or you can say fixed die and another one this one that will be movable so compressed air is then blown from the top which forces the liquid metals into the die castings so by the application of that pressure that will be used and the molten form of the metals that will be injecting into the mold cavity so when the solidification is about to complete the supply of the compressed air is stopped and goose neck is once again lower down or you can say lower back to receive the more amount of the molten metal for the next cycle so in the meantime the movable die hive opens by means of the ejector pins forcing the castings from the die casting so the die halves close to receive the molten metal for the next castings so basically for this process having advantages like process is economical for large production quantities good dimensional accuracy and surface finish thin sections can be easily cast near net shape can be achieved some of the limitations or you can say disadvantages high cost of the dies and equipments because th that all equipments that will be made with a uh, metallic materials or you can say steels or alloys so that will be increasing the cost because of in this process we are using a permanent mold casting then not economical for small production quantities so that will be increasing the price of that particular products in case of the small quantities process not preferable for ferrous metals because that will be having a higher melting points part geometry must allow easy removal from die cavity so i hope you understand the hot chamber die casting process if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching